Hey everybody, how you doing? It is uh, 10 p.m. on July 31st, and this is going to be an uh, update on hurric Hurricane Isaias. I was saying Isaias yesterday. I don't know the way that it looked. I guess um, I made a mistake, but either way, it doesn't matter. It's the hurricane that's now a hurricane now. Yesterday, it was just a tropical storm, and I had showed you the path and uh, you know multiple projections of where it might be you know make landfall and I continue to tell you how crazy this thing looks like it's being steered perfectly I've never in all the years I've been watching this I've never seen a hurricane or tropical storm do what this one is doing it literally is going to ride up the coast half the hurricane on the coast or on land half on the water all the way through Maine directly it just rides up and it's crazy um, you know, something's not right about this one. And now they're continuing to push right now, um, just a couple minutes ago on the Weather Channel, how Florida is one of the hottest zones with CV, you know, cases that are positive and, you know, how bad this is going to be because of that. And, you know, I talked about that for the last month. I told you that these disasters, these things are going to be used to you know, herd you to certain places, you know, obviously you're going to go to a shelter, right? And they've already said that you can't even get into a shelter now without wearing a mask, gloves, and, um, you know, that's not going to stop there. Not only did they say that, they are changing evacuation routes. So you're only going to be able to go certain ways. You know, we really need to pay attention to this, okay? Let's check the... Um, Let's check the forecast right now. I have the GFS, I have the second GFS model, and I also have the European model up. And we'll just run through these real quick. The funny thing is, is that yesterday it wasn't a tropical storm, and they had predicted it to stay as a tropical storm. And when I ran all the forecast models, it had it going all the way to borderline Cat 2, Cat 3. Well, today, all the pressure is actually dot dropped where it's going to hit on the coast, and now it's a hurricane. So that's why we have to watch this. They are always all over the place. Remember all the ones in the past that we know have been manipulated, but you had Hurricane Michael, you know, Dorian, both of those literally went from ones to four, five, you know, category fives within, you know, 24, 48 hours. It's, so you definitely need to pay attention to this. All right. This is the main GFS. This is the one they're going to, you know, this one and the European are the two they're always going off of if you're watching any uh, radar. Um, let's watch this. Watch how it comes in here. Right now it's Cat 1. When it makes landfall right there in, looks like Fort Lauderdale pretty close, it says the pressure is going to be around 1,000, which is going to keep it at, you know, a strong tropical storm. Okay? But look how it runs all the way up the coast. It makes at least three landfalls for most of these. It comes back out, goes in. Now it's actually hitting a little lower. It's even hitting South Carolina and North Carolina. And then it just runs all the way up. And this thing does not stop. It goes all the way up through New Jersey, you know, Boston, New York. It's It literally goes all the way up to Maine. I've, I've never seen anything like this. It, it's honestly like they're steering it perfectly up the coast, you know, and the way they're pushing how the cases are exploding and now they've had to stop testing due to this hurricane coming in because they have to prepare themselves so they can't test anymore you know there's there's definitely something up with this storm you know whether it's going to only be a cat one or it strengthens that's that's not probably what you need to worry about you need to worry about being prepared because of what the things they're the positions are going to put you in uh when these storms start hitting so um let's look at this is the second gfs and this one actually, um, this is the one I was showing you yesterday, and it's actually calmed down. Every one of them keeps it almost over a, th you know, I read about a thousand for the pressure, but um, it's uh, definitely the path that we need to watch. But here, see, this one has it hitting still, you know, somewhere around a Cat 1, maybe Tropical Storm, right there, and it just runs up the coast all the way out. That model has a lot more of it staying on land, which hopefully would weaken it. But, you know, we just don't know. Um, and here is, actually, that was the European model. I'm sorry, the second one that I just showed you. This is the GFS para model, okay, which is the second uh, GFS model that you, you know, we're showing on these. You know, there's at least, you know, six different forecast models and spaghetti plots, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, it's funny because... They want to talk about how their technology continues to go up and they're getting so much better at predicting these things. Well, they just said just now 
they don't know where they still don't know if it's going to hit Miami or if it's going to slide more west or east and it's only a few hundred miles off the coast of Florida you know so they definitely aren't leading and telling you everything that they know you know, I'm really worried once it gets up into New Jersey and Boston and New York. If it's anywhere around a Cat 1, we remember what Hurricane Sandy did. You know, so <laughs> we just definitely need to keep an eye on this. All uh, right here. this Look at the track of that. This is from uh, about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> look at that. It's just perfect up the coast. So I just wanted to make a really quick update on this and let you know that it is now a Category 1 hurricane. But like I said yesterday, do not get caught up in if it's a Cat 1, a Cat 2, or a Tropical Storm. Please prepare and please just be ready just in case this thing does run up the coast like this all the way through. And remember, they're not going to have as many shelters, so you need to be looking ahead of time. If this thing does blow up, please find a shelter or find a safe place because... A lot of people aren't going to want to go to the shelters with what they're going to require you to wear and do and, you know, God knows what else. But, um, all right, we're going to cut it there. I want to keep it short. You all have a great night. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Uh, God bless.